Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. Okay, so this question belongs to Gate CSC 2001, guys. Okay, so the given question is consider the schema. Okay, so consider the schema R relation or table A comma B comma C comma D and the functional dependency A implies a B and C implies a D. Okay, so then the decomposition of R into, so now they are trying to decompose or break this table into two pieces and they broke it at that point guys. So they broke it at R1 A comma B and R2 at B comma C. Okay, so now they are asking what is the thing with respect to this? Is it a dependency preserving or is it not dependency preserving? Is it a lossy joint or lossless joint? So the first thing that you can directly say here is, so they divided the table into A, B and C, D guys. The issue here is, so when you break the table without any common element, so is there any common element guys? No, right? Yes. So if you assume the traditional table is having only two entries, okay? So when you break it, you are going to make two entries on this side and two entries on that side. But if you wanted to combine it in the future, what will be the case guys? So you are going to get four entries. So you don't know one two will match to whom. So one two you will match it to three four ones and one two you will match it to four five ones. And you will match two three ones to three four and two three to four five so indirectly we ended up with four entries rather than the original two entries so with this understanding we can say that this is a lossy dependency right so it is a not lossless so this could be correct not lossless this could be correct this is a lossless so this is wrong this is lossless this is wrong so now we need to work out with respect to dependency preserving okay so when it comes to dependency preserving observe the question carefully guys so in the question there are only two relations right so one is a to b and the other is a c to d so even after dividing the table is there any issue in this relations no right so one is a to b and the other is c to d okay and whenever we are trying to check dependency preserving what we do guys so first this is the original thing so these two and these are the two after dividing so if i do union of these two indirectly i will get this only right so union of relation one and relation two is equals to r dependencies based on dependency so you can write it as a d also dependency of one union dependency of two is equal to dependency so that's absolutely true, right? Because it is A to B, C to D. So union of this is nothing but this. So with that understanding, I think I can conclude that option C is the correct answer. It is a dependency preserving, but it is not lossless joint. Got it? Yes. So it's a quite interesting question and easy question, right? Yes. Okay. So I hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this. So in the next lecture, let us continue with the next question. Okay. Yes. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.